this rental office is designed for the kind of venture. Hmm? I mean the ben ben venture company. I mean the rental office. They say the rental office are upstairs. Oh, okay. For the students who want to start their own business. Oh, venture. Maybe I see, I, I, I you have an idea. Yeah, So are you going to the University of Victoria? Victoria, ne next week. Uh, yeah, my, my sister actually teaches at the University of Victoria. But I'm not actually going to university, I just uh, visit my sister. Oh. Yeah. I heard that Victoria is a very nice place. Yeah, very nice place. And there are also a lot of islands between Vancouver and Victoria. Ah. And we usually go for holidays on those islands. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of lakes and stuff on those islands. They're called Gulf Islands. So Vancouver, Victoria, and the Central Islands. Oh. There's a lot of them. Ah, Tsuga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tsuga. Ah, that's Tsuga. So at least three giant islands. So your research topic is teleconnection. Also, you had. Yeah, it's kind of. Right now, I'm probably working more on but yeah, tell me. You try to use temperature and precipitation to predict uh, like rice, right? Mm, yeah, you yeah, might yeah. be able to use like sea surface temperature to give a longer lead time forecasting. Uh, yeah. yeah, because I also they working on the sea ice in the Arctic region. Right. In a gridded data set. So the, what I'm going to try out is trying to figure out the relationship between the sea ice extent yeah. And the temperature yeah. and precipitation. Yeah. Although I don't know this is that's very strong because uh, um, because in the Arctic the, the atmosphere the air is sort of sing, right? So it's very hard to excite hurricane action. Mm. Like the tropics where you have rising air. And also like people think the ice and the snow on the Himalayas are very effective in generating hurricane energy. Mm. Because the Himalayas is very high up in the atmosphere, so so any change there could affect the, uh, the, the higher atmosphere. Mm. Yeah. The Arctic is kind of a, 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 you know, a sinking air, so it's not sure it's easy to accept uh. the, the vertical air motion. Yeah. So I don't know, but, but you might find some signal. Mm. <laughs> the sea extent in the Arctic region is now dramatically reducing. Yeah, dramatically reducing. So that's nice for. Some express buses that go along Broadway. Ah, yeah, Broadway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pollution in Vancouver? Yeah, yeah it, it is not so polluted in Vancouver. No. no. Uh, well, I don't know about Japan, but I think Canada, just in general, is a very clean country. Oh. Concerned mm. air pollution. But still, I mean, polluted I by think, the. I mm. think it might be more a problem in the, in the cities in, in the east because ah, in the during east. the summertime it tends to get very hot there. And then kind of, um, they, yeah, I think they they have quite high values of ozone. Ah, ozone, ozone. Well, definitely compared to uh, Toronto or Montreal. Hmm. <laughs> So you live in a uh, dormitory over there? No, no, no. I live in Kitsilano. Ah, Kitsilano. Ah, like a city mall, actually. <laughs> Kitsilano is uh, between the center of downtown and UBC. Yeah. Well, Maybe yeah, uh, I'm... Like a uh, clock tower. I, 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 I'm in the middle somewhere. Ah. <laughs> you rent a house there? Well, well, I have a, I have a studio, like a... Bachelor, just just one room. Ah, right? uh, so share share the room. No, no. Ah, uh, ah, so 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 studio.